world has been ruined by war and corporations, forcing the community to choose sides in a struggle for power. <laughs> I guess factions control our fate. The time is now. Defeat is never an option. Fight every battle in your mind. Let that move that will crush your opponent. Strategy and manipulation are critical. Prepare wisely for each encounter. Gather your strongest followers and storm the opponent. It all comes down to this. Which side will you choose? I need some assistance taking out this opponent. Drag and drop the Silent Wave faction card from the bottom left onto the board, and we can win this battle. the streets of Novus, you must learn quickly. Every match begins with six community cards. Each card has a value and community sector. If you have any issues telling the difference between the card colors, in this simulation, the machine is making the first move. Let's see what it does. The machine took the underground eight, and now the score is zero to eight. You can see the scores at the top of the screen on the left and the right. A new card has been drawn to the board. This is called the end of turn card and it will be drawn once a turn has been completed. It's your turn to go. You score points on the left side of the board, so the left side is yours. The right side will always be the opponent. At the start of every turn you choose one card from the center of the board known as the neutral area. This will be your starting card. Choose one now and try to get a higher score than the machine. You moved a card to your allies row. Doing that locks the card in place and it can never be touched again. You're gonna be okay, kid. You must select a starting card from the neutral area, which is the center of the board, at the beginning of every turn. Choose one now. Your score is the sum of all card values on your side of the board. 
Whichever player has the higher score at the end of all rounds wins the match. After choosing your starting card and placing it in its starting location, it may move other cards on the board. Movements on your starting card tell you the communities of the card it moves. Direction of the movement, positive, or the plus sign means towards your side, while negative or the minus sign means for example, if you have a law and Once your starting card has been selected, all movements must be completed if possible. Remember, the plus Your turn is ended, and an end of turn card has been added. At the start of every turn there must be at least three cards in the neutral area. Two more cards have been added to take care of that. The machine chose a card with a union, religion, and law enforcer. You have a law enforcer on your side. It's taken the law enforcer from you. There go your points. Try to use that same strategy against it if you can. There are new icons showing on these cards. They're called draw icons. It's your turn again. Remember, you just moved a card with a draw icon on it. To complete the move phase, you must complete all possible movements on your starting card. These movements can affect cards anywhere in play, as long as they are not protected. Since four draw icons in total were moved out of the neutral area, four new cards will be drawn to the board. As always, one additional card is drawn to mark the end of your turn. One more round to go. Let's see if... of the starting card you chose can move cards anywhere on the board. When you choose a starting card with more than one movement from the same community, you may split your moves between multiple cards.
Now it's time to learn how to use faction cards. I bet you've been waiting for this. The machine will go first. It's chosen a powerful starting card, which can move a lot of high-valued cards. It is common in Master of Wills for big leads to happen. But don't worry, you can always come back. A new icon has appeared on some of the cards. This is called the faction. The only way to play one of the powerful faction cards in your hand is to choose a... Good news! You will draw and play one faction card from your hand once you finish your move phase. Since your starting card had a faction icon on it, you will now draw a faction card from your deck to your hand and play one. Each faction card is different. You may tap on each card to read its rule. When ready, drag a faction card in. Killed cards are placed in the afterlife. You can tap the afterlife icon at any time to see. You can also see previously played faction cards by tapping on the discard icons. Once you've explored this area, press the X to close the panel. Complete your move phase now. Check it out, you drew an epic card. These are typically more powerful cards than the previous action card you played. Factional Mayhem is a bit of a gamble, but he has very high upside. Tap him to read his rule and then play him. without a faction icon on it, you cannot play a faction card. This is a critical rule. Do not forget it. Complete your move phase now. You drew one of your legendary cards, Third Eye, and he controls many areas of the board. Read his rules to find out how powerful he can be.